Okay, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the homemade door alarm. Let's show the ingredients. Okay, first here we have just a regular rubber band, get it from a grocery store. Two push pins, a binder clip, a uh, sound emitter, like buzzer, a couple pieces of wire, a roll of tape, a slip of paper about three inches in length and two in width, and a double A battery. Okay, we'll start our assembly right here. Start by taking the little metal pieces off the clip. Just gotta pinch them real good and pull them out. Should come out pretty easy. <sighs> or not. There we go. And next, you wanna take your blue wire here and cut in two, as you see I've already done so. And then you wanna strip both ends. All you have to do is strip these. Just take the scissor and kinda run it along. Grip it pretty tight. Pull that off. And so you have the exposed end, and then you just kind of want to twist them all together so they're kind of like one fiber. So next, we want to take these two wires and tape, and tape one of them onto the negative end of the battery. Like so. Just want to curve it over. Down. Make sure it's nice and tight because you want to make contact real good. Okay, once we have that, just fold it out so it's sticking out of one end. And then the other end of the blue wire, other piece, I mean, you tape onto the positive end. Like so. You want to make sure you get it right on the little stub. good. Put another piece of tape all the way around the battery to hold them both on. Nice and tight. Fold it down. Okay, so now we have our battery set up here. Just wire on each side. Next, we want to take these two metal pieces that we pulled off of the binder clip and tape around the edges here. Everywhere except this little metal hook part, right in here. And you wanna get it nice and good and even. Okay, now we have our two taped metal pieces here from our binder clip. See how I taped all along the edge here and this little leg. It's very important to make sure you get this little leg because that's the part that actually goes into the binder clip. Every part's now taped except for the little rung at the top, like I said. Now, let's just Squeeze them and put them back in here. Nice and good. Make sure your tape doesn't slide off when you put these back in. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a problem. Okay. So next, we're going to uh, take our rubber band here. Put in like a little figure eight. And shove this on the binder clip. Fold it as many times as you can. So these are pulled together by the rubber band. Snap, snap together like that. Okay, now we have these. We're going to put the wires on. Yep. So it's all tight onto clip. Yep. Make sure you get it all tight until it can't really be tightened anymore. Yep, we want them to be pressing together really well. That's really well. Okay, okay. now we're going to put our wires on here. You can just take it, put the end halfway through, and twist it. Like that. And the green one will go on one little metal piece, and the blue one will go on the other. It doesn't really matter which end of the battery the wire's coming off of and going into the clip. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Gotta hook the wires too. Alright. Put this in here. Twist it nice and tight. You want to be gripping the metal, almost impossible to move. So you don't want it sliding around like this green one. 
Alright, so now we have those two on, and they are making contact, which is good. Oh, yeah. Gonna make sure that they're touching. There we go. Got that. Alright, next we're going to install our beeper. And get it, get it all the way through. Yep. Alright, next step to installing the beeper is to cut the green wire about in half and strip one end of it. Alright, get that nice and stripped, pull those out. And twist that up right there. Alright, and what you can do is you can take this one end of the beeper and attach it to the red part right here. Make sure you get these. Attach the green nice. wire onto the red wire from the emitter, from the sound clip. emitter, yeah. Get those nice Just and twisted up. Really you tight. don't want those coming apart. And nope. actually, you going to assure that it. they won't. I'm going to tape it just in case. So. Yep. Don't want it to come apart. Exactly. So if it does, then it's going to be any good. Get that nice and taped up there. Squeeze it on. And then we'll strip this end of the beaver. Cut it off like that. Alright, at the other end of our beeper, we want to attach that to our green wire, the other end of the green wire. You might want to tape that also. Yep. Come loose. Don't want these coming apart again. Piece tape. Wrap that around nice and good. Draw on the other. Press. Okay, so we have pretty much our whole circuit here, and I'm just gonna review it super quick. So right here we have the blue wire, front end and the blue wire, attached to the positive side of the battery. And out the negative side we have the other side of the blue wire, which is clamped on to this end of the binder clip. Then when these two are touching and making contact, the electricity from the battery should travel through the green wire and into the buzzer. Make a sound, high pitch noise. And again, we are not nerds, by the way. Yep, we are not nerds, we just do this for our viewers' amusement. And we like to get a lot of views. So. There you go. Oh. And you got it. Yep, works pretty well. Sounds good. So yeah. next step is to get it installed. Right now we are in the room and we are just about to install it. Okay, so now what we have downstairs here is our two tacks, our complete circuit, and the piece of cardboard. We also have our tape, of course. Okay, yeah. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take our two tacks right in here yep. and put them into next to the door in the wall, just into those holes. in our case, the left of the door. Also, you want to make sure you're inside the room, not outside the room. Yes, or else it'll ruin it. Otherwise, you won't be able to set it up without triggering. And make sure they're in good enough so they won't fall out. Yep. And then next... You want to have, you wanna have them level so you can rest of down there. So. Yep. Okay. Next, what we want to do is take our clip right here and tape that down nice and good. Hold on. This is good enough for right now. It's a full circuit that we made upstairs. I'm going to get downstairs now. Get it down good. Make sure that is down. Make sure that's taped good down. So, it doesn't come out at all. Yep. So and then you, you want to rest the battery yep. on these two little tacks right in here. Just get some tape. Rest the battery on that. Put a piece of tape. It's going to be a little messy, I'm sorry. You can always cover it up just with a sheet of construction paper to make it look prettier. Okay, so our next step here is to install our buzzer on the wall right about here. 
And I actually figured out that we're going to need one more push pin. So, fix that for more instructions. One more push pin. So, three push pins, not two. Yeah, see, I'm using red and green here. Christmas colors. There you go. You know he doesn't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, I'm a Jew, but that's okay. Who is that? Who is that? Is that our puppy? Hello, puppy. Say hi. Hey, hey. Come on in. Come on Come. in. Come on in. We're doing a project. You can't mess it up, okay? Oh. You can't mess it up. All right, keep Let's going. Keep go Let's keep going. Okay, so the next step here is to just make contact. Let's see if this works. Ready? Yay. Yay, we got it working. Clap, Sophie, clap. Yeah, clap, clap, clap. Waggy tail. Okay, that's good enough. All right. So, okay, now that we have contact, we want to reach over here, grab our slip of paper, and, take and the tape. Here, come over here. Um, Stay. Good girl. So, you want to take your slip here and make like a bend. Yeah. A centimeter wide. There you go. A bend. Right, right here. One. So, it kind of folds out this way, the same way as the door would open. Yep. So then you want to take your tape. Yep. Cut off a couple pieces. I think they know what tape is, Aaron. Uh, I think I know what tape is too. <laughs> okay. Now we have our piece of paper here with the fold in it and the two pieces of tape. Now we'll tape it down right about there. Right where the rubber band end about is. Four inches from your door. Yeah, and you want to tape it actually right in the center of the binder clip. Yep, right, right there. there. Right there. Alright. Alright. And now. then grab some more tape. More tape. Got tape. Okay, the whole circuit thing, so I think we did a good job. Yep, that's the end of our circuit making. Alright. And well, preparation. So, so now we have it completed. There we go. Right there. Congratulations. Now clap. Thank you very much. Yep. And let's test it. My subject here, would you go out into the hall? Okay, I will. And we'll test it and see how it works. Okay, I gotta plug it in there. Alright. All right, Close you the tell door. Me, you tell me Alright, so now we pretty much have it all hooked up. Our paper is between the two little metal pieces here. Which is separating the two wires, therefore I'm stopping the buzzing. I'm outside. Yep, and our assistant hair is outside waiting to come in. Also notice that we have the green and blue wire here. You gotta hook these up. Right there we have our connection. So our whole circuit is pretty much now a loop with different little interruptions in between. Okay, we're ready to test. Can you coming in? Alright, here we go. Yeah, get out! Get out of here!